So Cassie says, what if you know he likes you, but he doesn't come forward? Well, it's one of those things, and, and I talk about this as well, because it, it's, so you can take, like if, if you decide that you want to take a risk, right? And you're like, hey, I kind of like this guy, but he's not kind of moving anything forward. You can kind of take some risks and you know, ask him things or say things to him, tell him that you'd love to, you know, you'd love it if he'd ask you out sometime or something like that, right? It's, it's not a big deal, right? Like a lot of, there's some coaches out there that are like, never, you know, ever do this, never, you know, initiate contact, never say anything, never, you know, push anything forward, never, 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 never. Well, you sh- I mean, there are things that you never want to do. Like you never want to chase a man, but this isn't chasing, right? If you, if you tell him that you'd love it, if he'd take you out, what you're doing is you're, you're getting him an invitation, right? And I'm a huge fan of invitations. And so you create an invitation. And you're like, Hey, I would really love it if you did this, right? And then you just you're throwing the ball in his court, you're hitting the ball over the net, and you're waiting for him to hit the ball back, right? You're seeing if he's going to take the ball and run with it, which he may or he may not. And so you don't want to be overly invested in what happens and what doesn't happen. You can just throw it out there, and if it works, that's great. And if it doesn't, that's fine too because you're not overly invested. And if he wants to be in a great relationship with you, he needs to step up, he needs to move things forward, and he needs to be the man in the relationship.